This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. We're here today on the case of Howland versus Howland. Uh, you all have been together for seven years, but married for three years. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, right. Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Howland, you've brought your wife to couples court today. Tell us why you're here. Uh, I brought my wife to couples court today to find out if she's cheating on me physically, uh, emotionally, and especially financially. I mean, I can get over emotional, but financially, I can't get over that. So financially is a sticking point for you? Yes. So yes. what is on the line today? Is uh, your marriage on the line? Yeah, yes. our marriage, our kids, our life, our house, our dog, our grass. I want it all. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, all right. Miss Howland, yeah. do you understand what's on the line today? I understand everything. Okay, so Good. you understand that if he finds out you are financially supporting this gentleman, that your marriage is done. Yeah, I understand. Mr. Howland, what, what is the status of your relationship right now? How are you living? We cool. You cool? Yeah. We're cool. So you all are living in the same house? I sleep in the living room. He sleep in the bedroom. Oh. Okay. You, you How long y'all been living like that? It's been Since about a then. year. A year? Yeah. Since then. Yeah. You all have not slept in the same bed in a year? When he get the hmm. feeling to want to do something, then he'll call me and I... And do you go when he calls you in there? Yeah. I'm a man. I, I... Okay, so... <laughs> You all are... Okay, wait a minute. I, I just gotta say <laughs> that he's calling on her when he just wants something. That's not cool. Did you just you know say she did? just get away but she, with it? She, she goes. She must like... You like... I what, guess what you, you enjoy that. Yeah, if, if he likes it, she loves it. That's... Uh, but are you, you all... still in love with her? Of course. Are you so, still in love with him? Yeah, I do. Well, this should be easy. Well, we should get this it done. It should be easy, but yeah. they're here in couples court, so there's there's gotta be a problem. There had to been a time when you were happy. I mean, yeah, there was a time. I'm looking at the picture. There was a time I, I, when they were happy. Hey, Marietta is the type of... Out. Marietta is the girl, right? She is the girl that it... It doesn't take much to please Marietta. But not saying that she doesn't deserve the world because she do. But she just ain't the typical woman. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, like, tell me about that. Yeah. Dates, like dates, like, you don't have to... She not a date type of girl. You know what I mean? She wanna... She be at home. She kids. Like, when I met her, she was taking care of kids. Okay. So that's what made me settle down. I mean, I had just had a son. He came in like a month later. It took up with him. He Okay. He is like he adopted him to be his son. Okay. All my boys, daddy. Only daddy they know. And he he makes me smile. Well, back then he made me smile. He's making he you still smile makes you now. Smile, yeah. <laughs> but I also that. see tears. I also te see tears why? in your eye. Why why do I see the tears? Because I know I messed up. Okay. And I know I was wrong, but I'm trying to write, rewrite my wrong. Okay. How long were you all together before things went wrong? We was together six years. So y'all got six years under your belt. 2014. 2014. Okay. So six good years. Six good years. No, 2014, I'm working. And I'm in what you call this drop meal, right? It's where rubber comes down from... Uh, the cooker and drops on my drop mill, which spins. I got stuck in it. In the machine? In the machine. In the machine. Oh my God. Took my glove off, one nothing there and everything. So uh oh my first God. my thing, my first thing to do was call Marietta. Call Marietta, because that's my first thing to do. So you had this tragic accident right. where you lose right. so I part of your hand mm -hmm. and your and and your boo showed up right. and stayed there with Superwoman. you. Superwoman. Superwoman, I like yeah. it. So this should have been that situation where yeah, your we, marriage is made right. stronger. Right, right. I lost when he got hurt. I lost him. I had I had to be the mama and the daddy. Okay. Because okay. when he would get mad, where his where he was in pain, he would take it out on me. He would say things that he don't supposed to say to your wife. If you had your hand like this for three months, how would you feel? All day. Tie your hand to your hip, to your side for three months. Were you a little abusive? I don't know. Yes. You, you don't know? Me. Were you difficult? I mean, I'm difficult now and I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I'm just, the well, truth will set you free, love. Yeah, the truth will this, set you this, free. This, you, this, just, this. you just mentioned that having your hand next to your side for three Extra months. Extra difficult. It gets to you. Yes. It and was to you. And I was helping. I, okay. okay, but here's the deal. Okay. Let, let, hold on. Let me just say this. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Our vows, and I'm gonna presume your vows, said oh, in sickness way. and in health. Amen. Right? Amen. And in sickness Amen. and health doesn't Amen. always mean. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I appreciate okay. it. 
in <laughs> sickness and health means not only the physical part, but even the emotional, where he's not being kind. You have to give him a whole lot of grace because you have to feel what he's feeling. Now, you're not off the hook, Mr. Howland. I'm not. Uh uh. Okay. So when she gets tight about you being tight, you got to give her grace. Yeah. You got to give her and say, I know I have, I'm, I, what did you say? I'm, I'm, I'm difficult when I'm walking. Well, you have to if recognize you keep that. keep running out, how can I give you that grace? Well, now, that's a different conversation. So how did, the, how did the cheating come in? That's my question. Well, I knew, knew a friend from back in the day. We used to talk. And he came around and we started talking. He came around? He just came no, around out of the just, blue? I mean... No, he wrote me. Why did he write you? What did he write Facebook? you at? What did he write you at? Hush. What, tell Facebook, me where he wrote Instagram. you Because I want to know, because you never the told me that. to my mom. I, oh. How did he get the address? He didn't get it through me? What? Oh, oh. Okay, you tell what me. is it that she did that makes you think she was cheating? I right. Mean, at, the t at this time, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know. At that time? At this time, I... At this time, it was just her leaving was the problem. We got into an argument one day. I went over to my mom's house to cool down. I come back the next day. I walk in the house. It's nothing in Listen, the house. A cool down is sick. Hold on. He got rid of everything. I asked him what he do with it. He said he told a story and said that he put it in storage. Come to find out, he sold it all. Okay, wait a minute. Your response to all that is to sell all y'all stuff. Wow. All right. There was a whole lot of steps you missed, brother. Yeah. Whole lot of steps. I mean, it was... And what was the game plan? How emotional you got... Was my game plan? Yeah, what once you sold all your stuff, you sold what, it, what, was, what was the next step? I didn't... What was the next step? Yeah. yeah. I didn't, I didn't plan that far. It was just I took action then. Let me just say, reel it in. Really? Okay, so... And okay. not okay. only his stuff, it was my stuff, too. And that's what he can't get. He say... I get that. You sold everything. Everything. Only thing he left was she the TV She had tore up that. everything. Listen. No, I didn't. So you sold everything but the TV? I mean, because she took it and gave it to the guy that she was sleeping with. But why did you... Why was it still there? Why was it still there? Because it was my kid's TV. Why would I... She, he like, stole it. Okay, but, so you, you did sell, sell the TV no, and, she, and you said she gave it to this man. I you know she gave it to okay. stuff, but you sold the bed? Mr. Howland, listen. In reaction to what your wife did or what you think she did, you sold everything. Everything except the TV. The kids' TV. The kids' and TV. My mom gave it. All right. My mom and gave that was the only thing in the house. Better. And then you gave the TV to your boy non boo. He wasn't no boo. He wasn't nothing. He was just a friend. Your friend, yeah. <laughs> Why I, did you I don't even have words for this. Okay, well, I, just... I'm, I'm so confused. Because let me just say this. I can understand, oh Mr. Howland, why you like, uh-huh. I get it. How did you find out that the TV had been given to this gentleman? Her cousin told me. Her cousin told mm -hmm. you? Her cousin. So well, what happened? What did you do? I went up there and got the TV from the guy. That's when me and the guy talked, and the guy was like, man, she didn't tell me that she was married. I say, oh. hey, what she told him, and, and the guy, and the he guy knew. said, well, you know she. Oh, had he been knew you were married. Yeah, he she knew knows I was she. Married. You know she had been writing me three months before I got out, sending me money, right? I'm like, what? And, I, and mind you, I know this guy. Oh. Like me and this guy, I know him. So you know the guy. You yes. go to get the yes. television, yes. and he tells you, a, I didn't know she was married. B, I've been writing and talking to her. And then the one that really sent you over the top, she been sending me money. Well, Miss Howland, I didn't send him any money. Back when I was getting, back when me and Jason got in, got together, I was still talking to him back then. But far as now, I wasn't sending any money. Okay, yeah. but you gave him a television. Did you ask him, are you and my wife having sex? No, because I'm a player. We don't do stuff like that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Did you find out they were actually From having her. sex? So she told you. Yes. Okay. And so what did that conversation look like? It was to a deliberately trying to hurt me conversation. It wasn't a trying to. So what? This is I did that, and it wasn't a fight. It was just a I want to hurt you type stuff. Why? That's what I want to know. Why? Like he why? Hurt why me. do you feel right. so much, so much to a man that sacrificed a lot for you? And I have. I mean, all right, Miss Howland. Miss Howland. I have two. Miss Howland. 
How do we go from that picture right there of the happy times yeah. to you sleeping with uh, an ex-friend? When Jason got friend? hurt and he started getting mean. And one thing led to another? Yeah. Okay, okay so was it a sexual thing? Was it an emotional connection? It was what not were you no looking emotional for? emotional connection. Me and him was just friends. We had sex like twice, and that was it. I let him go. So, was it like sex or did you actually have sex? It was sex. Okay. Was it like two times or was it just two times? It was like two times. I don't know what that means because like two times means. Either you had sex. Okay. Because it's it like, well, it was like two, but it was actually four. Yeah. Uh, that's what yeah, I'm, I'm right, trying to right. say. Okay. So, so how many times was... have you admitted to? T- twice. Twice. Mr. Right. Holland, has she admitted to those two times to you? I mean, yeah, she admitted it. Okay. Do you believe her? Do you believe that she only had sex nope. twice? Nope. No. You think it's I, been more? I, I think it's more. I Do you like, think it's something yeah, going I mean, on right now? Kept, the guy kept calling after we so called got back together, which we never was apart. We was always been mad. We never been apart. We never been broke up. Uh, so okay. whenever Your this Honor. guy came in... Your Honor. Your Honor. Right. When you walk in your house and see everything gone, what do that tell you? What well, do that it, tell you? It's not you, something good. You don't want to be with me. Yeah. You're splitting up our family when you walk in your house and you don't see anything in there. What do yeah. you think you were telling her when you did that? That I was angry and I was mad. That, and if, if you... And if, it, other okay. signs and if you wanted to mess up your marriage, this is how you could do it. All yeah. right. It sounds to me like you've been able to put the physical in the past. Mm-hmm. What you are trying to deal with is this finance piece. Why is this so important to you about the finances? We got judged. We take on a, on a, on a, any given good day, we take care of six kids. Wow. And you can't take food out of, out of my kids' mouth and give it to and the I guy. And I haven't done it. There's no way. And, and that breaks your heart, the thought of her it doing that. It broke me down. Not my heart, it broke me down. I didn't really want nothing. And, and no, we, we work so hard table. to do what we do. Okay. And we don't have a lot to make some with, but we make it happen. So is, that's a deal breaker for you? What? The it's financial? Out, yes. That's a deal breaker for you. Because oh. we don't... You it's know. not that good. Well, we want to get to the bottom of this. The court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams. Uh, Ron, would you bring Mr. Williams into the courtroom? Yes, sir. Mr. Williams, I'll get this call on this Mr. Williams, good to see you. Good to see you again. Uh, you are a certified polygraph examiner, that's c- correct? That's correct. In this case, you gave a polygraph examination to Ms. Howland, correct? That's correct. Right. Mr. Howland, are you ready to hear these results? Yeah, let's do it. All right. You asked Ms. Howland, since being in a monogamous relationship with Jason starting in 2010, other than the two times you have admitted to, have you had sexual intercourse with your ex? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the polygraph show? The subject showed a high physiological response to that particular question, which indicated to me that she was being deceptive. <sighs> Miss Howard, I asked you, and you told me two times, did you not? Yes. This is your time to come clean. This man says he loves you. He wants you. And you need, you owe him the benefit of the truth right here, right today. If you got... I don't care if it was 10 times, 100 times. You need, you owe him. How many times did you sleep with me? Three times. All right. We got right. one more question. Right, Mr. Williams, you asked Ms. Howland. Since being in a monogamous relationship with Jason starting in 2010, have you given your ex-boyfriend money? What was her response? She said yes, she admitted it. After you sat here and said you didn't? Mm. To why you want to break question? my heart so bad? Like, why you break my heart? Like, it, what, what I did I do, I do so do much? It. So what? I was mean. So what? I was you, you was too. For better or worse, sickness and health, man. I've been trying to make up for what I didn't do. You... I've been there. Mr. Howland, when you look at that picture... It's tainted. Can you get back there? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? 
I don't know. Mrs. Howard, tell him what you want. I want us to get back to how, how we was. Like, before all... Before he got hurt, we was happy. We was happy. We would go to the movies, do this and do that. That's what I want. I don't want to sleep in the living room. I want to be in the bed with him. And what do you want, Mr. Howard? I don't know. You don't, don't have know. a clue of what you want? No. I mean... <laughs> do you want her back in your bed? It's her bed. She can sleep in and up. She can get ready. I sleep on... But that wasn't my question. My question was, do you want her back in the I bed? I don't know, Miss Color. I don't know. I don't know. You all are engaged and have been together for two and a half years. Is that correct? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Mr. Crenshaw, why have you brought your fiancée to court today? Well, Your Honor, I have uh, trust issues with her, and I'm here to prove that she's been cheating on me. What kind of trust issues do you have? After three months of being together, she cheated on me in the past, so the same signs as then are present again, Your Honor. It's hurting me because I want to be able to trust her, and it's putting a lot of stress on our relationship with me and her and, and me and my daughter, and I don't want that to hinder mine and my daughter's relationship. All right, Ms. Schoenauer, why are you here? I'm here to prove that I'm not cheating on him. That you're not cheating I on him? I'm not cheating on him. I cheated on him once. I came clean about it. I told him face to face. I told him over the phone. I had to pull it out of you in order for you to tell me. Ms. Schoenauer, you're here to prove that you're not cheating. Yes. And that his trust issues are unfounded. Yes. But what he's saying is that he is seeing signs, am I right, that she's cheating? Yes, ma'am. She's hiding uh, guys' uh, names under a female name, and I've had to use an app to be able to find out that it was actually a registered to a guy. She's added uh, exes back on social media. She's lied about her whereabouts, and then I had a GPS tracking uh, d app on her phone. That, that, that's, uh, see, I've had to do all the digging myself to be able to get the truth. Okay, Ms. Sean, now, why are you putting men's maybe. name under a woman's name? Okay, so my coworker, he looked up her number. He doesn't think it's her number, and he looked it up. It's some guy's name. It could be her husband. It's uh, not a guy. So you're saying that the coworker and her boyfriend could share the same number? Yes, ma'am. But you're convinced that it's a boyfriend of hers? Yes, Your Honor. And then at the same time, she also hangs out with a friend, uh, supposedly her best friend, who cheats on her husband numerous of times. Okay, so you're saying that because she associates with a two-timer, she's gonna be a two-timer. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, guilt by association? No, we can't have <laughs> guilt by association. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're saying just because she does it doesn't mean you do it. Correct. There you and go. And she'll spend hours going through my phone. And she's done the same thing as well. But, but see, I I'll do it while she's hours. awake, and then she'll do it while I'm sleeping. She'll do it while I'm sleeping, too. Oh, so the fact that you look through her phone while she's awake makes it okay, but the fact that you're asleep when she does it is wrong for her to do it? No, I don't, I don't have no issues, Your Honor. I'll let her, th I'll let her go through my phone because I have nothing to hide. But she has something to hide. Yes, because she gets mad if I go through her phone or if I'm taking too long to her standards <laughs> of, of going through her phone. And you also mentioned you GPSed her, am I right? Yes. Uh, I, there's an app I've used that I installed on her phone and at the time she didn't know it was on there. And she would tell me she was at home, sleep, but yet, GPS is pulling up a location other than her house. I was like, okay, you, you, you're 100% you're at home. And she would tell me yes. And then later on, I was like, okay, then why did GPS say you were at this location? All right, Ms. Sean, I'll tell I've me about that. I've never lied about where I am, where oh. I've gone, where I'm going. Okay, so GPS let me ask you this. Have you ever been to the place that showed up on the phone? No, not that I know of. I mean, well, there's I mean, been multiple different places. He's, oh, you were here. Oh, you were here. One time I was at work, and he says I'm somewhere else that's like 30 minutes away. He just dropped me off at work. Look, he drops me off simple. at work. Well, it's real simple, Mr. Cullen. Where are you? I'm at point A. He's got a GPS app that says she's at point B. That's real simple. I understand. And the other thing I understand is I don't want you to have access to GPS app. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you're where you need to be, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Now, <laughs> now, let me think about that one for a minute. As long as you're where you need to be, you don't have to worry about me having to GPS you. Okay, and we don't We don't have that issue, so I don't have to worry so about that. So who gets to decide where I should be? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know where you need to be, just like she knows where she needs to be. You know where you need to be. Yes. You know where she needs to be. Some crazy Your concern scenario. is she's not where she's supposed to be, yeah. she's not where she's telling you she is, and you're concerned about that, and you yes, think sir. she's cheating. Yes, sir. Okay, that's the bottom line. All right. Well, that's the bottom line. We'll, we, we'll revisit that later. <laughs> right. Why do you think she's cheating now? 
because there's an instance, one day we uh, got off of work and we, we showered together. So we, we're lathering each other up and then I get to the back and there's some scratches on her back. And I, so I asked her about these scratches and she acted like she didn't know what I was talking about. So I grabbed a towel, hopped out, grabbed my phone and, and started taking a picture. And then, to me, they looked like they were sexual scratches. I mean, and they, we weren't that intimate that morning. Okay, so, and, and you submitted those pictures to the court? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you cross over to the monitor and yes, show us? Mr. Crenshaw, this is a photograph of Ms. Sean back. back. Oh, yes, sir. And this is the one you took right after she got out of the shower. Yeah, well, we were still in the shower. I, I hopped out with my towel, grabbed my phone, and then got back in the shower and took a picture. So, because you were going to show her what you were looking at, correct? Yeah, yes, because when I asked her about it without the picture, she, she's like, there's no scratches on my back. So, what I'm seeing is there's a scratch there. Yes, Your Honor. There's a scratch there. Yes, Your Honor. That looks like a scratch. Yes, sir. Looks like a scratch down here. Yes, Your Honor. There's another scratch up here. Yes, Your Honor. And you believe all of these scratches are from some intimate lovemaking that you were not a part of? Yes, Your Honor. And what did you say when he showed you this photograph? I mean, I scratched my own back. It was, you know, he gets, he gets in the shower after me. In hot water, you know, I'm very pale. Hot water, when I scratch myself, it's going to stay there for a little bit, and hot water makes it come out more. And it'll show up in just a second. You're not, you're not... I, well, Mr. I... Mr. Mr. Which... Mr. Crenshaw, you can step back to the podium. Thank you. I can see it on your face. It's not clicking for you. Yeah, and this was... <clears throat> this is tough. This is tough. I know that when you take a hot shower, you'll get spots well, from this... the shower, but I'm not seeing scratches from the shower. That's... And they were in the shower together. Have you ever seen this before? No, ma'am. And Ms. Shona, are you saying that... They're not scratches from sex, no. Mr. Crenshaw, what other evidence do you have to make you think she's cheating right now? One day, I, was, I got home from work and pulled up the trash can and the lid was open. And I just happened to gaze in there. And there's an uh, empty condom wrapper at the, sitting at the bottom of the trash can. Okay. okay. Do you all <laughs> use condoms? No, no, Your Honor. We, 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 do we use don't. Condoms. We don't use condoms like that. You're saying you don't use condoms. You're saying you we do. We do use condoms sometimes. You all are together yes. when you're making love, right? <laughs> you, I'm you, like, you, that's something you all both should know. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, it's it's on rare occasions. When was the last time you used a condom when you found this one? I would say close to a month. And I know that when the, the trash man comes to pick up the trash can, they, they, they empty out the trash can. It was from two weeks ago. So it's been two weeks. It wasn't a month. Okay, how often do they pick up your trash? Once a week. Twice a week. Oh. Empty. Are y'all in the same house? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. they, they don't know whether they use condoms. They don't they're... know when they pick up the trash. You, okay, you... all right. I had just double check it. Okay. <laughs> well, and it, that doesn't help you if they pick it up twice a week. Yes, but I don't empty more. my trash can every day. Maybe the condom got stuck at the bottom. But, Ew. You know, <laughs> it's the outside trash can. I'm sure there's some gunk stuff down in there. Okay. Do you have anything else that supports she's cheating? Well, yes, Your Honor. We also have uh, this baby monitor to okay. where it records the video and audio. He spies and so on this me one with the baby time, monitor. She, she cut off the, uh, the video, so I wasn't able to actually see, but I could hear what was going on. Well, we had, the, had a baby. We just had a monitor. Yeah. <laughs> but you are you using your baby monitor to monitor her. We got oh, video no, and audio. It's used for it. Okay, yeah, tell me what happened. The baby was crying, and I got the alert through the app, and so I went to check to make sure the baby was okay. Okay. And then all of a sudden, I could hear my baby crying. Then I hear Lauren in the, in the background. I hear a guy in the background, having, and them two having a conversation. And then I also hear the TV. So I'm calling. I'm calling her, could, you know, to see what was going on. I could hear my phone call, you know, my, the phone ringing in the background. And then she's not answering it. So then I try to video chat. I could hear it ringing, still no answer. All right, but, but, but the video wasn't on. No, no, Your Honor, because she cuts it off at, at, at sometimes, and then, then, and then I, I have to ask her, hey, why'd you cut the video off? And then, then she's like, oh, she'll make up some reason. And so you think she cut the video off this time because of this man's voice you heard? Yes, Your Honor. That it may have been a man there in the house? Yes. Was there a man in your no, house? There's never been a man in my room, in my bed, in my house, ever. No one but him. 
You're Why saying he... he hears what he wants to hear. Uh-huh. I don't think he wants to hear you with another man. <laughs> uh, unless I've got it wrong. No, no, you okay. got it right. You okay, got it right. I don't think he wants to hear her with another man. And my question is, why do you turn the video off? I don't want to be watched all the time. Well, if, but it's uh, for the baby. baby. I feel like I'm being watched. I don't feel like he's three months three months into the looking at the monitor for the baby. I don't believe that. It's because he wants to catch me doing something. Okay, but, but if you're not doing anything, what why difference does it does matter? It yeah. drives me crazy. I shouldn't have to be watched 24-7. I shouldn't have to do this. Okay, but, but, but hold issue. up, hold Three up. Three months into the relationship. Miss Schoenauer, here's the thing. You broke the trust. If you are trying to gain his trust, turning off the video is not the way to do it. Yeah. You have to work a little harder than he does. So what gets on your nerves has to be on your nerves for a little bit till you get him back where he needs to be. Yeah, because trust years. takes years to build. Yeah. Takes a moment to break and a lifetime spot. to get back. The same spot. Two years. But you apparently you have been doing things to not help the ball move forward. You look like you're hurting. Mm-hmm. And you look like you're hurting. Am I right? I'm tired of this. I don't want to be accused every day of my life. We have a daughter together. I just want to be happy. I don't want this. I'm not cheating on him. I don't deserve this. And you look like you're ready to cry. I just want to be happy. this, This hurts to the core because from day one, I felt like she was the one and I, I, to where I could be happy with and, you know, just have a happy, a happy life together. You all are both hurting. You need to look at your fiance and tell her what it is you want. What do you want to do going forward? I want, I want to be able to go forward and have the wedding and have our daughter walk down as the flower girl like we planned. Aww. And Ms. Right. now, what do you want? I want the same thing. I want our lives to be happy. I want a long life with you, but I can't keep doing this. I think we've heard enough evidence, enough testimony. Here's what we're looking at. You found scratches on her back in the shower. You think they're from another man. You found a condom in the trash can that you didn't use, and you think they're from another man. You heard a strange man's voice on the baby monitor, and she had turned off the video, and all of this is making you think that she's cheating. Yes, Your Honor. And if she is cheating... I'm out of here. You're done with the relationship. Yes, Your Honor. That's what's at stake here. Yes, Your Honor. This court has done a full and complete investigation to determine, is she cheating? At this time, the court will hear from former military interrogator Lena Sisko. Ron, would you please escort Ms. Sisko into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Sisko. I don't have to witness the answer. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I am a former Department of Defense certified military interrogator. Shortly after 9-11, I was deployed to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where I interrogated members of al-Qaeda and Taliban. Since that time, I have been training law enforcement personnel, military personnel, and private sector personnel in interrogation techniques and enhanced interviewing. Ms. Sisko, would you share what you did to investigate this particular case? I will, Your Honor. I first had the accused write a witness statement, and I analyzed it for any indicators of deception. I then studied the entire case file, and I put together an interrogation plan to interrogate Ms. Schenauer to see if she was indeed cheating on her fiancé. And what did you find when you interrogated her? Well, she owned up to cheating that first time. She owned up to seeking attention and compliments from other men. She owned up to adding an ex-boyfriend on Instagram. And she also owned up to flirting with a coworker only to seek that attention. Did you find anything concerning? 
I did find one thing concerning when I was looking at the case file. She seemed to be very vague in her answer regarding the accusation about the baby monitor. So I questioned her thoroughly and she was very consistent in all of her answers and the details. I also asked her a series of yes and no questions specifically to see if she was being deceptive. So what was your final determination? Mm -hmm. My final determination after my interrogation with Ms. Schenauer was that she, in fact, is being truthful and she has not cheated on her fiance. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mr. Crenshaw, how does that make you feel? Relieved. It makes me feel a lot better to where now I could put all the, the past behind us and move forward. And Ms. Schoenauer, how do you feel having been validated in your truthfulness? Relieved, and I hope this can fix our relationship. What we heard from you was you all want the exact same thing. You want to be happy. Mm -hmm. You want to move forward as a family. I would encourage you, because we talk about this, contentment. There's a difference between being content and being happy. Happy is an emotion that can come and go, but content is wherever you are, you are satisfied. So if you have And you're good there together. And you're together. together. Yes, you have your separate opinions, but you want to see eye to eye on as much as you can because that's how you move forward. We argue all the time. We may disagree about things, but as we're moving forward, we try to move forward together. That's what you need to work on. You all have been engaged and together five years, and you all were supposed to get married last month, but canceled the wedding because of cheating allegations. Please tell me why you've opened this case. Well, because, Your Honor, we were supposed to get, we were supposed to get married last month. Right. But due to our, I'm constantly getting like guys coming to me in public talking about my fiance has been in their inbox wanting to meet up to have sex. And really? I, yes. I, I've asked her about it and every time she'll catch an attitude. She don't want to talk about it. She says just my insecurities. And we don't we don't have no intercourse. She oh. we don't we don't kiss. We don't sleep in the same room. So all that together is like, okay, I know something must be going on. Yes. Why are you not sleeping with this man? I be aggravated. He be bugging me and all this. How you gonna accuse me every single day and then and then not wanna and then want me to sleep in a room with you? No, you can sleep on the couch. Like, I don't do that. But so why are all these guys out there trying to meet up with you? I guess I'm good looking. I can't honestly <laughs> tell you. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking good. He look good. It's been plenty of women in my inbox too telling me they slept with him, but they don't have proof or receipt, so I just say that sounds like a personal problem. Mm -hmm. So, but, but talking about the warning signs, though, I mean, okay, you got all these people in your inbox telling you that she's cheating, but, I mean, why is that sending up red flags to you? Um, there was a time after all that we... She called me one day, and she like, well, I don't want the relationship no more. I'm done. And she like, well, you need to get your things and get out. Wow. So... Later on, I came back that night. I didn't have my house key, so I climbed up the balcony. Broke in and, through the window. No. I climbed up the balcony, and then I went through the back, the back um, door. Broke in. And there she was, laying in bed with another man. Oh. Wait, that night? That night. OK, so, Miss LeGrand, you break up in the AM, and then you neck it with somebody else in the PM? Is that what that we doing? That ain't how it went. How it went was... I had already, I confided in a friend who just so happened to be a male. See, I'm not cool with females being friends because they seisty. You tell them you thinking about breaking up, they gonna go after your man. And I, I wasn't naked. I had on a whole night outfit. He had on gym shorts and no shirt. We weren't naked, though. All right, but it was, right, was open uh, counter uh, on the floor, hold, though. Hold on. You do understand when you go to someone other than your significant other about your issues with them, mm -hmm. you open a door. Because you, you, not only did you open that, you put your foot through that door and he's like, hallelujah. And he came right on in. So you're back together. So why do you think she's cheating now? That's what I want to know. Well, it was an incident that happened. Not too long ago, uh, her family had a uh, set that was throwing a 70s party. Okay. And 
she said, okay, we, me, and, me and you going to um, dress up. We're going to get our costumes for the party. So she called me later on while I was out finding my costume. And she like, nah, you don't need to come. I don't want you to come. And I'm like, why not? Okay. So did so, you go to the party? No. No, I didn't. Okay. And so she came, she, she came back at 3 in the morning. She and came back home to you at 3 in the morning. 3 in what the morning. What did you say to her? And then, I, so she went to sleep. I went through her phone. I, I went through her phone. You waited I for her to go to sleep, and then you I waited for her to go to sleep, and I, and I went through her phone. Okay. Come to find out, she was texting this guy, talking about meeting up. Oh, can I come over? And he's like, oh, can, oh are we going to, you know, have sex? And, she, and you know, because I got the paper right here. The, um... Mm. Rob, oh. would you please get yes, that? Yes, This was a text message that was in her phone. So she starts out, what we doing when I come over? The other man responds, we like having sex off rip, which is like right away. She says, laugh out loud, of course. So this is what you find in her thing. Yes. So you think that night not being, she wasn't at the party at all. No, she That's was with that That's why you guy. couldn't be at the party, because she was out she was uh, really with having that sex, R.I.P. Yes. <laughs> off the rip. Yeah, off rip, yeah. right now. Miss LeGrand, were you having sex? Off rip? No. <laughs> Were you having sex at all? No, I can't Why explain it, that no, whole thing. Wait, wait, wait. Though. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Why was this in your phone then if you weren't having sex off rip? It was a tip for tat situation. So like, I explained it to him at the party. Mr. Thomas was blowing my phone up and he sent a whole book paragraph saying something that tipped me off. So I was like, you know what? I'm finna just set this up. I text my ex back. So we had a whole hour conversation. After the party, my family member, girlfriend, lives right around the corner from where me and him was living at at the time. So he dropped me off on the way home and I never went to meet with this, this man. He even inboxed the dude and asked, did you sleep with my girl? Did y'all meet up that night? Yada, yada. The dude told him no. I told him no. Okay, it was... you know what? If it's one thing I could teach you all, tit for tat just kills both of you. There is no such tit for tat. There's no winner in tit for tat. I know. Mr. Thomas, no, it that? sounds like that uh, Miss Legrand is not very careful with her phone. And here's the thing: if you find one set of messages, there's another set. So, yeah. have you found anything else in her uh, phone? Yes, That's how uh, this rolls. Uh, another incident. She goes to sleep again. I go through her phone again, and I see the uh, I see a text message saying, "When can we meet up again, babe? I, I want to um, see you." And so I get I, I get the number from my um, out of her phone, and I text the guy. I said, what did you and my fiance got going on? And he says, I was seeing you all the texts and videos that been going on if you uh, cash at me $100. And... Listen do you have that? Listen. Do you have any evidence? Um, here go, um, part, this is uh, one of them right here. Rob, it was you a, uh, that, please? That, that one right there was... So that's he's... The, that's the cash... No, that's the cash out one. I was being mad. I told her she she, she needed to go. She needed to just go or, what, or whatever. He texts me back, and he's like, oh, so you kicking her out now? So I'm like... I go back downstairs. I'm like, uh, so you still texting this guy right now? And she's like, no, ain't nobody texting him. I said, so how he know that you get you um leaving? You didn't and tell this guy you were kicking her out. No, I didn't the tell him. The only way he would know... If she's texting him. If she's texting him right yes. there, right after it happened with you... Yes. Wow. And all of a sudden, he he sends a text back, and then that's what that text... That right there said, and you so should have you spent, spent the money. So the text that you've given the court says, what you mean... And he responds, should have just spent the hundred. Yes. And so he said, if you sent the money, you'd have had all the evidence you I needed. I had all the evidence. But listen to what you just said. Okay, oh. did you go and stay with this man? No. We, we she said it was, she said it was a I classmate. I even explained it to him. He came to my school. I'm a med student. I'm studying medicine. 
I had him tutor me, not only me, but he was tutoring like three of us at the same time. But wait a minute, how did he know virtually in, in a, a space of a few minutes that you were being put out? Because I texted him and said, why are you causing conflict in my house? My man just told me I have to go. That's when he must have took it upon himself to text him and but say you, you should have spent the But you said you weren't texting him. I texted him and said, why he started messing with me and you? Thomas, yeah. all right, I've seen what you presented so far. D do you have any other reason to believe she's cheating? Another um, thing happened. Uh, it was a girl. Uh, she sent me a, a video. It was a sex tape of her. Well, supposed it supposed to be her. It wasn't me. And a sex tape of Miss LeGrand? It wasn't yes. Miss LeGrand. Uh, it was somebody else. saying that your girl need to stay away from my man. And, it, and she said, yeah, it was a video. And um, it should, uh, I think, should You submitted it to, it to the court? Yes, I submitted right. it to the court. Let's take a look at this video. And she had this scar on the video. I, I wasn't believing in her, but she scar. had this scar. And what is that? A mole? No, it's the it's the exact scar that she had. It's it was, that she kept complaining about in the same spot. Do you not know how many black women probably got that same scar though? Well, <laughs> I gotta well, tell you, it it's it not anything uh, to a man, speak. A man, I know, a man knows his girl. A, a man knows it, it, his girl. A man knows his girl. How are you gonna know? You know what? I'm gonna leave that to you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I know one thing. That ain't no Miss LeGrand. That's somebody else. All right, Mr. Cover. I think we have enough evidence. At this time, the court would like to call certified cyber expert Gus Dimitrellis to the court to find out, is she cheating? Would you please share with the court your credentials? Certainly, Your Honor. I am a certified cyber expert and retired Secret Service agent under two presidential administrations. So tell us what you did to investigate this particular case. I directly took the phone from Ms. Legrand and I used advanced forensic software to go deeply dive into this analysis of the phone. Did you find any evidence of suspicious behavior in the phone? I did, Your Honor. I found the phone using call pattern analysis or device pattern analysis was inactive for months. In the past month, there was 1,012 text messages to and from Ms. Legrand. Oh. Okay. Of those 1,012 messages, 761 were from a specific contact named Jasmine. Upon further analysis, I discovered the contact, Jasmine, is not a real number. In fact, it does not even come back to a real person. It is coming through a text application. You believe that Ms. Legrand set all this up to fool you and this court? Exactly. In fact, I have some examples of some of the text messages from that phone. Okay, can we see those, please? And so the first one says, I'm with my family and he only want to talk because he want to ask me 100 questions and make me repeat myself. And then this is the friend. Okay. Says, okay, Ma, he's wrong for accusing, but to stop it, just tell him, because ignoring it makes it worse. Try it. So the friend is really herself. With 100% certainty, this phone was deliberately set up for this court, and there's another phone out there. This is a burner phone she gave me. I don't have a fake phone. I don't have a fake text now, whatever kind of app that is. I don't even do stuff like so that. So how do you explain the lack of activity for so long? I don't know. I just became friends with her. That's her, his actual friend. He knows the girl. So do I you know Jasmine? Her every day. Do you know Jasmine? Um, I'm Jasmine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You use the app to be Jasmine? She always wanted a female best friend. And I, I came up with the app and to see, to text her to see what's going on and pretend like I was this girl so I can see what's actually wrong. I never saw this coming. <laughs> I, I, I have no words. This is one of the biggest shocks we've seen in this courtroom. I'm shocked too. I thought I was talking to a so-called best uh, oh. friend and it's him. You got catfished by your own fiance. You can't build a, a sound relationship on deception for whatever reason you're doing it. Well, to further investigate this, 
the court will call her this time licensed private investigator Tommy Platt. Ron, please escort Mr. Platt in. You conducted a polygraph examination of Ms. Legrand, correct? Yes, sir. Right. You asked Ms. Legrand, during your relationship with Mr. Thomas, have you had sexual intercourse with the classmate? What was her response to that question? She stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful. You also asked Ms. Legrand, the day you attended your family member's 70s party, did you have physical sexual contact with anyone other than Mr. Thomas? What was her response? She stated yes, she confessed. The examinee also stated that she hooked up with a guy after the party and that it has had sex with him several different times mm -hmm. and this occurred this year. So, Mr. Grant, you got us all sitting up here thinking that, well, what's going on with this phone? And you got Mr. Thomas wondering, is he crazy? And all the time, you were with this person. The very I'm person he accused you of being with on the very occasion he accused you of being with him. I know. But, like I said, Do you, I wait. have my reasons for doing it at the end of the day. I all do. right, okay. Now, if you don't want to be... If, you, if it's so bad between you two that you need to do this, then let him go. Yeah. Tell him that. Tell him that. He the one that don't want to let go. I've... In the past, I have tried to break up with him. He begs me, give it another chance. This... Yeah. And then he cries, and then I cry. I love this you man. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe. I do love him. He is a soulmate. But he keeps accusing me and pushing me further and further away. He pushed me to want to do that. So, yeah, everybody can look at me like I'm the bad guy. But at the end of the day, I feel like I'm being pushed away from him out of the relationship. Mr. Thomas, how do you feel, hearing it now, all of your suspicions have been confirmed? What's going through your mind right now? I'm just hurt. Real hurt. You are worthy. You just need to find the person who knows your worth. Yeah. Now, the flip side of that is, you can't bring all this baggage and the baggage before her to whoever comes along new. Because <laughs> you're gonna find yourself in the same rat race. You all have been together for 10 years, married for six, and Ms. Holt, you are a well-known bridezilla. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you've opened this case today because you believe your husband is cheating on you. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, what specifically do you want to try to find out today? I have strong suspicions that my husband is cheating on me with multiple women. Mm. His actions, his demeanor, he's standoffish. He... His body language indicates that he's sleeping with somebody else because he's not giving me any attention, so he obviously must be giving it to somebody else. Oh. I just want out the marriage. Oh. I want to be gone. So, what you're telling this court is, if it comes out that your spouse is, in fact, cheating, you're done. I'm gone. Wow. Mr. Martin, what do you want to prove today? What do you I... want to prove to her? What do you want to prove to this court? I want to prove that I'm not cheating. I love my wife to death. I put in a lot of hard work and tears to try to get this woman. <laughs> I got a name tattooed on my arm and everything. So, we got to... We got a child together. I don't want them to go through that. And I love her, and I don't want to lose. Okay. The first time me him, him say he loved me in a long time. She don't ever tell me. Well, Mr. Martin, I mean, I acknowledge that she was on Bridezilla, so is this just her being a Bridezilla, or is she being paranoid? Is there something to this? She being paranoid. I told her. I cheated in the past, that before we got married. But you gotta let the past be the past. The, but the past then, then, then translate over to the future, so... No. He lying. Okay, well, let's talk about the past, the good past. When you all met, how did you meet? <laughs> well, actually, she would pass through my neighborhood. I would holler at the car like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but she would never stop. She would keep going. You, wait a minute, you were literally hollering yeah, and waving I, I, the I, car down? 
I, I mean, will I, I've heard about hollering at somebody. But that's he a ho- literally he hollering at her. I holler, try to get her attention and everything. She, boy, she keep going. She would blow the really? water, keep going. You did that to her I brother? did. Yes, Your Honor. So, She's probably playing hard to get. Were you playing hard to get? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. All right, so he's smiling and you grinning. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I heard, you know, he was a little sugar daddy, so I wanted a little money, so I stopped the car. <laughs> oh my goodness! So the, I stopped. Cut, look, I can't believe she said it. I can't believe. Well, okay. hey, the truth will set you free. <laughs> All right, you know. well, she didn't come clean. He didn't have no money though, uh, Judge. Uh, no hey, I had a little bit. I had a little bit, not a whole lot. Okay, so you did get any money. What did you get from me? You know, I was in a relationship and I was trying to get out the relationship. It was a real bad relationship. And, you know, we went on a date. He started paying for stuff and he had a car. He was coming picking me up and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm kind of digging this because before I would have to pay for everything and drive and do that. So you can kind of say he kind of swept me off my feet for the moment. Actually, she was getting ready to go to school. She didn't have no car to go to school. I had a car but it wasn't in good shape to go where she wanted to go. So I sold my car and got a new car and let her keep that car. Aww. Oh, my goodness. A, as good as I was, I'm not sure I did that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he gave, you gave me a ride in your car, but yeah. you didn't give me the car. Yeah. That's all right. That's a righteous move right there, okay? Take me to the day that you said I do. So, I think we were out of town, and he proposed uh, New Year's. Like, it was like at the countdown. And we was trying to get married, trying to get everything together. And I just said, you know, what the heck? Let's just, let's just go ahead and do it. And my heart was beating out my chest. But I swear, I, I wish I'd have just went the other way. No, no, she don't. No, she don't. Yeah. So instead of having this beautiful moment, you wish it had never happened? That's what we are? I, I regret we she did, there. She did All because you talking. believe he's cheating now. She just talking. Yes. I regret getting married. She's just talking. What makes you believe that Mr. Martin is a cheater? You know, not long after we got married, I went to the store with one of my family members. And my family member came to pick me up. So we went to the store. So when I came back home, he was gone. So I'm like, you know, sleeping good at night. And I just got my feeling, you know, my gut telling me something ain't right. So I hid in the closet in my daughter's room. He came home. I'm still in the closet, right? So his friend is outside with him. They outside talking. So he proceeds to tell his friend that he had just broke his boo headboard. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That, that is true. All right, wait, hold on, hold on. That's true. That ain't true. I go outside. His back is turned. His friend is looking towards me. He said, ha, 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 ha. That, that because ain't true. He that, didn't, that he didn't know that I was coming that out. That ain't true. I walked up to him. I said, so you busting, you breaking headboards? I said, because I headboard and I broke in. That ain't, that ain't, I tell that ain't you, true. I grabbed his little flip phone because he had a little flip phone then. I broke it in two and locked the door, went in the house and bleached all his clothes. Everything that I bought him, everything that I bought him, I bleached it. That ain't true. Okay. <laughs> that, that is not true. It was years ago, so just oh, fast up and say it was the truth uh, and let's just move on. I can't because it ain't the truth. Okay, well, I'm going to keep so, telling this same well, story. I'm going to keep You're it saying it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So you have said you, you heard this conversation. Have you seen anything that supports that Mr. Martin is cheating? I have nope. never physically caught him cheating, but I have evidence. So what happened was, he on Facebook, okay? So he didn't know. You know, I'm a little private investigator. You know, what do we call it? <laughs> I don't know, it's password and stuff. But how I did that was when he got a new phone, some kind of way his phone got connected into my Google account. That's how I got in, the fo- got in his Facebook page. Every message that came to his phone was coming to my phone. You're concerned there are multiple women. They, there are multiple hey, women. And I have, I have proof of that as well. There are multiple women. All right, what proof do you have that there are multiple women? I have a women? collage right here. A collage. They're waiting for her time. I ain't dead. One, two, three, four. Okay. Five. It's nine of them. Okay, explain that collage to me. All these women that he's dealt with, dealt with since we've been married, and one of them is his baby mama. So, yeah, all, you see they all ugly, they busted and disgusted. I don't even know. <laughs> you know, okay, you well, know I'm just, all y'all when you say he's dealt with these women, what, what do you I mean? I think he's pain. dealt with them sexually. You confronted him with this? Yeah. I showed it to him. Okay. He say, well, no, nah, I messed with seven of them. Then no, I messed I with no, five of them. Oh, I ain't messed with none of them. I say, well, you got a baby with one of them, so what you saying? No, 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 I, no I didn't. Get your story together. You put together a collage. I put together a collage. A woman you believe he's been with. Right. 
And then you met with him or sat down with him and said, look at here. Yeah. I believe these are all the women you've been with. It's probably more than that, but those were the ones that I could find. Have you been with any of them nine no, women? No, then before her time, and half of them girls is on there with my girlfriend way before her. Well, okay. clearly you've been with one of them. Wait, wait, wait. Because you have a child together with her. Right. That was, my child, me and her was together for 17 years. Which so is still a factor her. in our relationship now, because she claimed that she still be messing with him, too. No, she don't. No, she That's don't. That's what she said. No, she don't. Are you concerned that she's sleeping with him right now? I do have concerns Dang, that she may be sleeping with him right now. Everything. There's the husband side, there's the wife side, and there's the ex's side. And the ex is here. <laughs> so we're gonna hear from her. Ron, would you escort her in, please? Yes, Shana. Right. The truth shall be. Ma'am, that you free. free. Right. I hope you come free. Let me stand right up next to you. everybody free. How are you today? Fine, and you? Can I sit? Yo, oh, absolutely. Please, have a seat. Well, please. Hyped up. No Thank you very much. Would you state your name, please, for Paula the court? Paula Brooks. Thank you, Ms. Brooks. Ms. Brooks, what is your relationship with Mr. Martin? Well, I have a child with him. All right. How long were you all together? How long did you date? 14, 17 years, on and off. Is he pursuing you? He does. Every time I come home, I get a call. If he knows I'm coming home, he calls. He wants to get a hotel room. That's, that's, that's a lie. If I wanted that's to, I could. That's a lie. But you have. I, I, if I wanted to, I would. But you have. All right. So, <laughs> when he makes these suggestions about renting a room, have you ever taken him up on that? No. And every time he calls, it's never about the child. It's about what you. What is it about? Stop lying. You're seeing me. So, you think he still has some kind of thing for you? I think he just thinks it's some freebie he can get. Mr. Martin? Not true. Are you still trying to have something going on with your ex? No, y'all. I, I tried... The only way I, I tried to get her a room... Yeah, I tried. When she called me, let me know she coming to town. I tried to do get her a room. Get her a room for what? But... but let me... Let me finish talking, yeah, man. You about to I, know it ain't, I know it ain't right. But I be trying to get my baby, my little girl, somewhere to sleep. Because sometimes she come... She, she come and stay with me. But most of the time when she come, I go out of town. So I try to make sure my girl... My daughter be comfortable. Other than that, that's it. So you are not offering to get a hotel room so you can have a hookup place? No. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Nah, that, that, that ain't true. I don't know. I, I'm not I've the bad guy. I'm, of that thing. Thing. He done sunk I'm me. not the bad guy. Trying to get a hotel room. He lie. sends me pictures. You sent a picture? That's a lie. He sends you pictures of Baby. what? <laughs> so you're what saying you he is... He, is... he has sent me private part pictures. <laughs> of himself. Are you serious? How long yeah. ago? It's been a while. It's... If I did, it been years ago. That ain't Do no you point. remember whether or not you did that? No. Look, no. okay, all right. All right, so... Cutler, do you be believe a, be a that a man dude. would send pictures of his private parts and not remember it? Oh, I mean, not to his ex, no. I mean, you might send it to somebody that you are just putting out feelings, but if you've got a relationship oh, with somebody, an ex, and you're trying to get with that ex, I mean, you remember what you're doing trying to get with it. Why would I send a picture? You know what it looked like. So you're saying oh, he has sent pictures of his private parts to you since he's been married to Miss Holt? Yeah. My question to you, Mr. It. Martin, is when was the last time you were intimate with Miss Brooks? I've been years ago. Have you been intimate with Miss Brooks since you've been married to Miss Hope? No. No, we haven't. The look on your face says you don't believe her. I don't believe her. I haven't, but if I wanted to, I would have. But it's you have just that easy. If I want it, I can have it. But you have chosen not to have. I've chosen not to. The only reason why she's with him is because I moved to Texas and left him. He no, cheated baby, on me. You left him for her. To Texas. I was already with him. He cheated. All right, ladies. And he's a cheater. <laughs> Don't put that out there. Say. We already know that. All right. To get to the bottom of all of these cheating allegations, this court ordered Mr. Martin to undergo a forensic voice analysis. Our analysts submitted those results to the court, and we have them. Mr. Martin, mm -hmm. with respect to your relationship with Ms. Brooks, is there anything you want to say before we open this envelope? No, sir. No, Jan. Mr. Martin, with regards to any woman, do you have anything you want to say right now? No, Jan. All right, let's take a look at the first question you were asked. Other than what we've discussed, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife? No. The forensic voice analysis determined you were being deceptive. Okay. 
Who were the other women? I know other women. Let's take a look at it again. Other than what we've discussed, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife? No. Nope. All right, let's just talk about this. Mr. Martin, we have some additional notes here from our analyst. And he says that you made an admission after the test that you had had sexual intercourse since you've been married. Not since I've been married. I don't remember that. I remember telling him that. Everything in your body, the way you're standing, your posture, the way you're looking at me, mm -hmm. tells me you are not telling the truth right now. I don't remember that. I remember telling him that. You don't remember telling him that? I, I, I ain't do it. No. Not since I've been married. All right, let me just say this, Mr. Martin. Mm -hmm. We've sat up here and we know we've got a lot of years as lawyers knowing when people are telling us the truth and when they aren't. If you think you're going to move your marriage forward, mm -hmm. you cannot continue to be deceptive. You took an oath when you came in. If you're going to tell the truth, do it now. Or you might as well say goodbye to this woman because she's already said. Okay. So this is it. This is the moment. Since you've been married, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women? Yes. Women or woman? Woman. Just one. How many? One. What happened? He just, something just happened. <laughs> it doesn't just happen. Because you just don't fall on it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your ex? I, I can't see him sitting in the picture. No, what? no, no. No, oh, okay, what, okay. So, it was not Miss Brooks. No, no. It was another woman in the collage. Yeah. Is the woman we're referring to the same woman that you broke the headboard with? Yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't that time. <laughs> so, it's been more than It wasn't that time. <laughs> no, it wasn't, it weighed for, it weighed out of it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> when you say it wasn't that time... Right. It was right after that. All right, Miss Holt, you came here for the truth. We've had to drag it, but it's out there. Tell me what you're feeling and what you're planning to do. I don't feel nothing, but I'm ready to sign them papers. Hey, you did what it is. I don't feel nothing. So you're done. I'm done. Done, done. Been done. So what is going to happen with this relationship from he this point? He gonna get his black garbage bag and the stick he came I in on, no and he gonna get right... You ain't had no suitcase over there. Yes, and he gonna get up out of there. So you're done. I'm done. He can go with it, baby mom. Mr. Martin, you know, I gotta say, you might have had a chance, and Miss Hope may disagree, but I think you might have had a chance, but because you lied and you tried to, you know, game her, you tried to game us, you lost her. This is the case of LeBron versus James. Yeah, you Mr. All Keller, been... wait, wait. When I saw that, when I first looked at this, I thought, LeBron James in couples court? <laughs> but then I was like, oh, it's LeBron <laughs> versus James. Yes, yes, you're right. This is the case of LeBron versus James. You all have been together for five years. You're engaged. You have one child together, and you're trying to start your family, but allegations of cheating have put everything on hold right now. Mm-hmm. Mr. Braun, you've opened this case in couples court. Tell us why you're here. I'm here because I think Aaron James has been cheating on me or has cheated on me before. Um, we've been together for five years, and um, I just... We have a child together, and he's done things that have been suspicious. He asked me to marry him, but I just... I can't do that yet if I have um, all these trust issues. You just can't take that step I, until you know, until you get that result. For sure, for sure, because I've always been a very independent person and I don't play games. If you're messing around with me, like, I will get up and leave because there's... I'm not gonna stick around to be played and look like a fool, especially when I have a son that... I mean, he's gotta look up to his father. I want him to be a better man and all this and I just... I don't think that he can instill that into my son unless I know that he's been completely faithful. Wait. So, you're, what you're saying to this court is your new family is on the line. It is. Everything is on the line. Like, our whole relationship, our family, and I just... I need to know. I need to get the truth. Mr. James, she says she doesn't play games. Mm. Are you playing games? No, sir. I, uh... I love my fiancé. I'm here to just prove it that I haven't done anything. I'm no cheat. 
So I want to be there for my son. But you understand, based on what she said, that everything's on the line. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so, Miss LeBron, how did you two meet? Well, we met um, in high school. Actually, Aww. he was in eighth grade at the time, and I was a freshman um, in high school. Oh, and, you um, know what's so cute? <laughs> yeah, his brother wanted to hook us up together, but I was like, no, he's not even in high school yet. Like, I can't. So, um, <laughs> and whenever, <laughs> whenever we first saw each other, it was just like love at first sight. Like, we didn't even know each other, but we just stared at each other. We couldn't get our eyes off. Um, I like that hair you were working up. Yeah. Hey, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Thank you, yeah, thank totally. you. Yeah, totally. So whenever he got to high school, he was super shy. Like, he couldn't even speak to me. And that took all the way to our senior year in high school. That's so sweet. Yeah. So you started dating. Mr. James, what was it about her that made you say, you know, I'm gonna overcome this shyness and, and start a relationship? Well, when we first met each other, when I was at the volleyball game, she, I just noticed she kept coming around and around and around and around. <laughs> So at first I was like, all right, she, I think she likes me, but I'm too shy to even talk to her. So when it came around school, passed up freshman year, passed it up, too shy. Sophomore year, passed it up, too shy. When I was a junior, she was a senior, I was like, you know what, she's about to leave, let me give it a shot. She asked me to go to the movies with her. I said, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to go. Like, <laughs> yeah. you went. So, that's exactly how I said it. Stuttering, just like you did now. <laughs> And the rest is history. I've never felt this way about anybody else. Like, I feel this is my person and I want to be with him for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> she makes me laugh every day. Um, she, she's very outgoing. Like, she'll talk nonstop. I love it. So, I'm reminds me of another young couple that I used to know uh -huh. many moons ago. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tell me about this couple. Um, they enjoyed each other's company. They used to hang out, and mm -hmm. uh, one was more talkative than the other. <laughs> In a good way. Uh-huh. Why don't you introduce me to him after court one I day? I will. I'll do okay. that. <laughs> All right, you do that. So the sad part, though, Mr. Cutler, is as cute as they are and as lovely as this sounds, why do you believe that he's a cheater? He was texting these girls, and my friend and I came up with this idea to um, catfish him. Okay. And so she, like downloaded this fake texting app and she pretended to be a girl that he was familiar with. At first, it was just flirting. We were like, hey, you're so cute. And, and he would, like, he would eat it up. Like, he would respond to it. And I was just like, okay, so let's go a little further. And we started saying, like, hey, like, I want to mess with you and everything. And he definitely went along with it. He was just like, I don't have a car. Like, you can come pick me up. Or maybe, and, yeah, and, and he was like, um... And if you can't pick me up, like, your mom can come pick me up and all this so that we can... <laughs> yeah. Because and you're watching I, not... this in real time. In real time, yeah. It was Father's Day, so I'm, like... I'm, I'm at dinner with my family. He's there, too, and I'm, I'm just looking at him, watching him text Oh, back. wait. So, what? He... Oh! So, yeah. oh. so my friend is no. texting him. So your so... friend is texting him from somewhere else, and you're sitting there watching, watching him, him respond to this. And I'm like... I'm, well, I'm getting heated. Like, you could tell. Uh, like, I was sitting at the table and I, I was pissed. I wasn't looking at him. I wasn't talking to him at all. And um, he could tell, you know? Mm -hmm. He said that, oh, he knew it was me the whole time. All right, Mr. James. Mr. Some James. hottie starts texting you and saying, you're cute and I like you. You no, didn't shut that down? I, I mean, at first, I tried to. At that point, it started getting fishy and I was like, you know, I just gotta keep going along with it. Going. Yeah. So the catfish, the catfish started, started getting yeah. fishy. Yeah. So were you playing Miss LeBron? I, at, at the day, uh, dinner table, uh -huh. I looked at her while I was texting uh -huh. to see if she would text back because I thought it was her messing with me. Uh huh. But she didn't look at her phone not one bit. So I was like, all right, well then, this got to be somebody else. So then you just continue <laughs> to talk to her. Yeah. In yeah, a flirty manner. Time. Yeah. But you but believe had... more that more was going on. Yeah, for sure. Because I was like, if he could talk to my friend like this and not even know who it is, like, who... he's probably doing the same thing with other girls, you know? What else makes you believe he's cheating? His sister actually texted me. Um, and I have the evidence right here. She had okay. messaged me. Ron, would you um... please get that document? Yes, Sean. And uh, she told me that she had seen something fishy on his phone. She'd seen messages from other girls. And then he, um, she told me that she saw him delete them right away. And uh, I, I was pregnant at the time. She felt extremely bad. That's why she took the initiative to text me. Mr. James's sister wrote, I accidentally clicked on a message. I was just curious and saw it was another female. And you responded, another female? He's talking to someone else? 
Mr. James' sister responded, and I want to tell you because I don't think it's right. My sister, when she went through my phone, I'm pretty sure she just saw the female's name and that was it. Because it wasn't nothing, it wasn't serious at all with this girl. Well, why would your sister say this? I mean, she's supposed to have your back, but nobody else does. I guess she just felt bad for her because she was pregnant, but... His sister wasn't the only person messaging me. I had, like, some of his coworkers calling me and telling me about the same girl that his sister told me about. Okay, wait a minute. So his coworkers are calling me saying that he's being deceitful and he's out with this um, other girl. He's been texting her for a while. They've been flirting back because he worked in the deli. That they, she would go and flirt with him and they would I spend time together. I was on the clock together. working. And whenever I, I'd have to go get the chicken, pick it up, if it was out of time, like been out too long, and she'd be walking next to me while I go pick it up and just talking to me. And so I, of course, like, I'm six months pregnant at the time. I started freaking out because I'm like, okay, he should be talking to me. I'm the only female he should be talking to while I'm pregnant. I've been messaging you. So um, I, I literally, I woke up another family member. This was at about 9 o'clock at night. And I was like, we're going to his job. Like, we're going to So drive. you went up to his job? Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, what did that look like? What happened on the job? Well, on the job, he, he was supposed to be on the clock. And so I when I get day. there, yeah, he's not there. Oh. So it just, it looks, it looks funny. It looked like maybe he was with that other girl, especially since the coworker's sitting here telling me that, that, that he's with her and, no, and partying with her. Mr. James... This looks bad. It does look bad. The one day, <laughs> the very one day, one day, your fiance goes up to your job to look for you. You're not there. I was home. I called off. I didn't want to go to work that day. But isn't that the same day? Isn't that the same day that she finds out that your that your coworkers are saying you're with this other girl? Well, she hadn't been calling me. Like I, my phone was on the charger, and I was hanging out with my dad. Yeah, so when he's not at work, I'm obviously blowing up his phone. And, right. and he's not answering. So if he's not at work and, and he's not answering the phone, he must be with somebody else. Yeah, that's waiting. That's waiting. Do you have any other uh, evidence? Yeah, I actually do. Um, so I start getting, like, I'm an FBI agent, so I start to get <laughs> as much as I can. Okay. Um, and I actually ended up texting the girl that he was talking to, and I said, hey... You know, like, I'm six months pregnant. If um, Aaron's being deceitful or he's being unfaithful or y'all seeing each other, just let me know now and I'll cut the ties. Like, you can have him. Just, like, let just me... Just let, let me know. Me, let me know. So All right. I'm not going to sit around and look stupid. And you're communicating via text. Yeah. And do you text. have so those text messages? She, yeah, she ended up okay. sending me screenshots of their conversation. Okay. And it, it really didn't look good for him. So these... She sent you screenshots of him. her conversation with Mr. James. Yes. The other woman. The other woman. Okay. So, Mr. James writes... Like you weren't looking for a relationship. The other woman responds, relationships are cool and all. I don't care about titles. I just want to be happy. And Mr. James responds, I want to blank with you. Mr. James? Yeah, that may have looked bad, but... No, it, 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 it does look bad. It does look bad. It may have looked bad. It does look bad. It's going to look bad tomorrow. It's bad. Yes. But I just wanted to hang out with her. That was all. Well, that's not what you said because we had to blank that out. It wasn't hangout. It was something else with her. I mean, you know, it that's... is what it is. That's what you wrote. Yeah, I had no intentions on messing around with her at all, I, I promise. So after you get this text message, what do you do? I cried. <laughs> like, right? honestly, I just... Um, because somebody that is your best friend of five years, like, I, you wouldn't think that they would even think about doing something like this to you. So, like, I continued texting um, the girl... And she ends up telling me that she's not the only one. Like, oh, she, oh yeah, I have evidence. So you got more? Yeah, um, she had texted me saying that he had zero remorse for what he was doing to me, especially, like, while pregnant. And so, um... And she says, this man is bad news. Mm-hmm. Aaron shows zero remorse for what he's doing with other girls while having a baby. I'm sorry again. So it's not just her... She's saying there are other women that he's involved with while you're expecting his child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, Mr. James. The other girls she's talking about are the people I had lunch with when I'm on my lunch break. Well, lunch what are you doing on your break. lunch break with these other women that's making this other woman say you're bad news? I don't know what she was thinking, but with the other women, I honestly just talked about her, about the baby. So when you say you're having lunch, are you having lunch yeah, or are you having sex? Having lunch. Mm -hmm. I, Mr. Cutler, I think we have enough information today. I think we do, too. And, Mr. James, everything is on the line because you've heard clearly from your fiancé, if you're found to be cheating, the LeBron James wedding is off. Mm -hmm. 
You yes. understand that? Yes, Your Honor. History. Right. Well, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call cybersecurity expert Patrick Seward to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> While Peter's court, Mr. Seward, into the courtroom. Patrick Seward. Good day, sir. How are you? Good day, Your Honors. I'm well. How are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you. The court ordered Mr. James to submit his phone for forensic examination, correct? Yes. All right. When you conducted your forensic examination of Mr. James's phone, did you find anything interesting in his messages? Yes, I did. Uh, I recovered 14 photos of Mr. James in various poses and states of undress. A few of them I brought with me today. So these are pictures of him standing nude. So the first picture is just of him from the abdomen up nude and then full body cam. Yeah, I'm calling it nude. You're calling it nude. <laughs> I'm calling it nude. Look at you. <laughs> Who did you send these uh, photos to? Probably her. Probably? Probably. No, for sure her. If they, if they haven't been sent, they're in my photo uh, library. That's it. So you didn't send these to this no. young woman we keep hearing about? No. No, you did just send them to somebody else. No, Your Honor. Miss LeBron, have you seen these photos? I've seen that one, but oh. the other one, <laughs> I don't Thank know about you. the first you got one. The, of these. You got the money shot. I you got didn't the get money shot. Okay. I remember that one. All right. To further investigate this case, we would like to call certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams to determine is he cheating? Step right over to the money. All right. Mr. Williams, for the court record, please tell us your credentials. For the record, I am a retired federal agent. I've been doing polygraph examinations for the last 25 years. I'm currently a private investigator in the state of Georgia. So you asked Mr. James, did you ever have physical sexual contact with a coworker your fiance, Miss LeBron, text? What was his response? Your Honor, he said no. What did the lie detector determine? Regarding this question on physical sexual contact with the coworker, he was being truthful. <laughs> Mr. Brown, how does that make you feel? Better. I saw Eddie. a smile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gotta wait for the other questions. See. <laughs> Mr. James was asked, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman during your five-year relationship with Ms. LeBron? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, he said no. What did the lie detector determine? I detected no physiological changes, which indicated to me he was being truthful. <laughs> I love you. Uh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> so that makes me feel good. So you can got move a big on. Smile. Yeah. He's wearing your lipstick. Yeah, he is. It looks like Mr. Cutler's LeBron James wedding is on. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. You guys are such a, a cute and handsome couple. Mm -hmm. uh, we wish you all the best as you all move forward. So we'll give you a little bit of advice. Yeah. Okay? Treat her like the queen that she is. Don't give her any reasons to doubt how you feel about her and your intentions toward her. Okay? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. You all have been together 17 years, married 11 of those 17 years, but you say you are out the door if you find out Mr. Edwards is cheating. Please explain. Yes, Your Honor. I believe that my husband is going through midlife crisis. Okay. And I also believe that my husband is cheating on me with, with random women. Okay. Tell me how you feel. What's this been like for you? It's been hard, you know, because at the beginning of our relationship in marriage, things were great, you know? We are a spiritual uh, family and uh, we've been close, you know? We talked all the time and, you know, we communicated. Our sexual life has gone downhill. He, he doesn't touch me. And on top of it, he's very disrespectful to me with other women. Mr. Edwards. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, 
Your wife is accusing you of a number of things. Yes. How do you respond to her allegations that you're cheating? Um, I know I'm not. Um, I've never had in any of the time that we've been married, I haven't cheated. I've never been with another woman. Um, and I'm here today to prove it. All right, so you've been together 17 years. You got to know him pretty well. What was it that made you say, okay, we've been plotting along, going along, something's changed, something's different? Because he stopped going to church with us. That was big. About how long ago did this stop? About three years ago is when all, everything just started to decline, Your Honor. So, Mr. Edwards, why did you stop going to church? I did. I mean, I, I was going to church. And then you stopped. And then I, I slacked off on going. But I do, in fact, know that I love my wife. I love my family. You know, and I want this thing to, to, to work out between me and her. Me First and of wife. all, it's not a thing. It's a marriage. Yes, it is. It is. You right. But, Ms. Edwards? You right. Was there something else that you noticed that either started or stopped three years ago? Oh, yeah. We have a shared email. Okay. So, I was roaming through our email as norm, and I noticed that all these women were... that Robert has been conversing back and forth were responding back to him through emails. Okay. And on top of it, he was also into porn sites. And how do you know this? I saw it. I saw it on the emails. I saw it in his phone. <laughs> Mr. Edwards, you know, who are these other women that you're writing and corresponding with via email? Well, I'm not corresponding or writing to anyone. Well, she um, says she's in the emails. You... I didn't know. The in emails were being sent, but I wasn't responding to the emails. When I went to the sites, when I went on the sites, I was curious. I was looking, you know, just to, to be curious with it. But it seemed like once I got on the sites, then people got my email address, and then they start sending things, which I never replied to. And you've never had any kind of physical relationship no. with any of these women? You never even met them? No. Is that what you're saying? Right, exactly. Okay. Are there any women that you're concerned about in particular, Ms. Edwards? Oh, yeah. Okay. There was a woman that texted his phone and said, where are my keys? Mm -hmm. So, what happened when you saw this text? I called my husband and I say, hey, Robert, what is this? He says to me, he didn't know who it was. I said, call him. Right. Call oh. him. He did. He got, he got the young lady on the phone and she said, you're a liar. You were at my house and you do have my keys. <laughs> okay, who is this lady whose keys you had? I have no idea who this person is. I have no idea who this person Ms. is. Ms. Edwards, well, this woman, be... she texts you and says, where are my keys? That's a very specific... Okay, first of all, it should have been somebody texting the wrong number. But you... somebody... Somebody in this... She said Robert. It's more she than had... one Robert on this earth, though. So, Ms. Edwards... It's more than one Robert on this earth. So, you're saying that you don't know this woman? No. She's got the wrong Robert. Got the wrong Robert. <laughs> so, how did she get your phone number? I have no idea. So, I have no out of, idea how out of my all number. the phone numbers in the universe, mm -hmm. she happened to dial the wrong number I think so. and got somebody named Robert. Yep. Okay, Color, you a physics yep. major. You did statistics. What is the do, statistical you know the, the problem? Odds of that? Yeah. Probably 101 million. I don't know. But I'm just saying that I, I have no idea who this particular individual was. So, you understand why that looks strange to us? Yes. And you understand totally. why it looks strange to Ms. Edwards? Of course. Okay. What you're saying is just. Just happened. No, no, then. boy, it, it didn't happen. I don't know who this woman is, where she's calling from, and better yet, how she got my number. Okay, now. Wow. Robert, wow, wow. Robert is a common name. Yes, it is. So is Keith. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the odds are astronomical, but, you know, the odds are one in however many million. Right. There's got to be that one. Yeah. So maybe this and is that, that and, one. And that one is standing here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The one has got to be standing somewhere. It might as well be here. It's like that. It's like That's razor it. thin, Mr. Cutler. Well, you know, if the chances are that great, you know, Mr. Edwards, maybe you need to play the lottery. Yeah, buddy. You know. <laughs> Have you discovered or seen anything else that makes you think that Mr. Edwards might be cheating? Oh, yes, Your Honor. Can, may I please? Okay. Okay. What you got there? Well, I made this exhibit board. Oh, look at you. 
Robbie found these things, these items in his vehicle. In All his car. That? He found these things in his car. Yes. Okay. And brought them to me. The first thing he brought to me was this gold earring. And what did he say about that? He said, here, baby, here's your earring. I look at it and immediately I, I'm a well put together woman, as you can see. You know. True yeah. that is. Hey, I know my True stuff. That is. You know? Okay. And that's not my earring. You okay. Know? Then Robert comes, I say three months later, he comes with the silver earring. Same thing? Same thing. Baby, here's your earring? Baby, here's your earring. I say, Robert, it's not mine. And what does he say? It's gotta be yours. It ain't mine. Wouldn't that... Jan, I object to that. Wouldn't that be foolish for me to bring an earring that was supposed to be in my car Uh uh-huh. that I'm giving to my wife, asking her about it? Why would I bring it to my wife? Well, that's a logical question. I could have just as easy put it in the trash can and left it alone. Because you didn't know it was left by the woman you were sleeping with. Well, as a lot of technical say today, I'm not sleeping with anyone and wasn't sleeping with anyone at that time. But, Miss Edwards, yeah. you're convinced that because he didn't know who it belonged to, he's just accidentally giving it to you. I honestly believe that these women were leaving these crumbs behind so that I can see that they were cheating mm-hmm. around with my husband. Ah, uh, so they were marking their territory. Absolutely. But, you know, why would he even take that chance? If there was a chance that it might belong to somebody exactly. else, just throw it away. Exactly. Th- that makes Why more, would I bring it to my wife? Sense. She has a couple more things. She's got an exhibit C and exhibit D. What are those? Yes. Exhibit C is a is a hair clip. I don't wear hair clips. I wear bobby pins. Okay. I know that's not mine. And then you got exhibit D there. What's that? Lip gloss. Cheap lip gloss. I don't wear cheap lip gloss. (laughs) Okay. He brought it to you. He brought it to me. He says to me, baby, I found your lip gloss in my car. Again, I say, Robert, it's not mine. I would have to be a consistent fool, really. Tell me I about exhibit e. exhibits. Can I approach? Oh, okay. Approach the bed. Yes. Approach. <laughs> well, Your Honor, I was doing my my everyday cleaning. <laughs> I had just got home because Robert and I had a little break, you know, and I was coming home and I started to tidy up the house. Okay. Doing Lord light cleaning and all, and I start I saw something shining. And it was the ankle bracelet. So immediately I grabbed it and I'm like, I knew it wasn't mine. And where'd you find it? Behind the headboard. Okay, do you wear ankle bracelets? I wear them, but it wasn't mine. Oh, okay. All right, all right. And it wasn't real, so I knew it wasn't mine. Okay. (laughs) So what did you do when you got this bracelet? Because I know you did something. Oh, antennas went up, and I just started thinking like, if an ankle bracelet is behind there, the only way, excuse me, my approach, for that ankle bracelet to be behind Uh there, somebody was doing... This! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> or... This! Baby, hold! Hold! Easy! Wow! That's... Well, well, well! Oh, have mercy! I... I, I have never Just seen like that, huh? an exhibit like that. Just oh, like that. you see it today, Your Honor? Yes, we did. Wow. All right, um, uh, Miss right. Edwards, you can go back to your podium. <laughs> oh. I, I'm actually in a oh, sweat over I see there. That. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so, so Miss Edwards. So, Miss Edwards, how do you explain that ankle bracelet being behind the bed? I honestly think that someone set us up. Did someone... <laughs> I honestly think it, because it's no way possible that I've ever had anybody in our bed, any woman in our bed, in our room, for anything to get placed behind the headboard. Okay. So do you I'm... honestly believe that? Do you believe the words but that come out of your mouth? I, how can, else could I put anything out there about that particular situation if I don't know how I got there? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, there's another explanation. What's that, Mr. Cutler? What's the explanation? Another explanation as to how the ankle bracelet got behind the uh, headboard of your bed is that you had another woman in your bedroom. And I just explained and I just said I never had another woman and I've been nor been with another woman since I've been married. 
Well, I gotta say, I have with, no idea. With what your wife demonstrated, ain't no reason to go anywhere else. Yeah, she showed it. For real, for there. real. That's the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. You're right. That was the demo. All right, so Mr. Cutler, I think we have enough evidence. We have Miss Edwards believes that her husband is in fact cheating, and she has said, "I'm out. If he is, I'm done. We're this is not something I'm Completely gonna do." Completely done. To get to the bottom of this, this yeah. court has done a full and a complete investigation. Yes. At this time, the court will call certified polygraph examiner Dave Lawrence to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ron, please escort Mr. Lawrence in. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Yes, I'm a 30-year retired state police officer. I've been a polygraph examiner for the past 26 years. I've conducted thousands of polygraph tests. And you performed a polygraph examination on Mr. Edwards, is that correct? That's correct, sir. Hold on, love. I, I, I gotta do this. I see the look on your face, Miss Edwards. And, and it is absolute agony. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking in this moment? I, I mean, my it... husband. That's my king. Mm -hmm. When I took an oath with God and I said to him in my life, my whole life changed. I grew so much with him spiritually. We have a beautiful family. You love him clearly. Even though you may be angry with him, I know that you love him. I do. I love her too. I love her too. Do you want these results? Yes. Are you ready to face the results? Yes, Your Honor. This will at least help me to be able... Because even if he's not cheating, if he's telling me the truth today, at least we'll have some hope to work on... I can work on everything else, but I cannot work on a man uh, uh, cheating on me and, and, and uh, you know, just not showing me no decency and respect as his wife, you know? So it all comes down to this right now. Yes. Yes, and if I find out today that he's been lying to me, it's over. And Mr. Edwards, you understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, Your Honor. You understand it all comes to a head right now? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Lawrence, you asked Mr. Edwards, since the beginning of your marriage, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your wife? What was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being deceptive. <gasps> Ms. Edwards? I knew it. The lie detector determined you were being deceptive. The question asked, since the beginning of your marriage, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman right. other than Ms. Edwards? And you said no, but the lie detector I determined you were being deceptive. I haven't. I honestly haven't. I can't believe that. You also asked Mr. Edwards, did the ankle bracelet your wife found behind the headboard belong to another woman with whom you've had sexual intercourse? What was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being deceptive. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Edwards. So it was deceptive saying I'm lying? You're lying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you denied each of those things... Yes. Yes. The results determined that you were being deceptive. Mm -hmm. So you were being deceptive when you said you did not have sex with the person whose ankle bracelet was found behind your headboard. I didn't. Uh, no way. There's no way. Miss Edwards, you came here for the truth. And I got it. And you got it. I'm, I'm sad that this is what you found out. But I'm happy for you because I know you gonna pick yourself up <laughs> and keep it moving. Look at me. Yeah. I don't have no problem finding me no man. Over. <laughs> <laughs>